Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend uh, read for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 2nd through the 5th. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and shuffle this up real quick. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Taurus, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages, what advice does my Taurus need to hear today for April 2nd? April 2nd through April 5th, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What clarity and guidance, what love messages do my Taurus need to hear, please? All right, my loves. So guys, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. I do choose weekly winners. Um, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know um, when that announcement comes out for the winners, okay? Guys, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, uh, my information is below. I am having a huge sale right now on personal readings, um, so be sure to check it out. If you would like to check me out on Instagram, follow my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Check out my tarot collection, Timeless Collective readings. Everything is in the description box below. Okay? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, Taurus. All right? Um, what I'm getting here, and guys, this could be your energy. It could be your person's energy. Okay? So the energy that I picked up was actually really kind of sweet. Okay? Um, what I was feeling was an energy of somebody like, um, what is that? I think it's Bob Marley. It's, it's a, it's a, a, a reggae song. Um, I want to love you and treat you right. Right. That was the kind of energy that I got here. You know, uh, it was like someone wants to love you, but they want to love you the right way. Or Taurus, you want to love somebody or love them the right way. And, um, they're starting to kind of disconnect from the idea of being single. Like it's starting to not like, you know how we all love our independence and our freedom, you know, but this person is like, they're starting to not want to be alone anymore. Okay. They're starting to crave more stability. So again, Taurus, this could be you, um, or this could be your person. All right. Someone here is starting to crave a happy home. They're starting to crave, you know, maybe having children or getting married. Um, you know, they're starting to want that stability. I, I, I literally felt like when you guys maybe separate or you know you you go out on a date and then you guys you know you go there they go the other way like they you, they're starting to miss you or you're starting to miss them like it's getting to that point where this person is starting to realize wow you know i don't want to go to bed alone tonight or i don't want to wake up alone in the morning or i don't want to go through life alone i want to be with this person like i want to share it with this person and that's really sweet so i actually feel for some of you you may have uh you know an, a wedding announcement soon <laughs> you may have an engagement announcement soon um so let's see here under the deck the wheel of fortune yeah i feel like someone has met their soulmate feel i feel like someone feels like they have met the one um and this is this is a very fortunate and blessed as far as what i'm feeling fortunate and blessed connection so let's see what we have here we have unrequited love and children. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And children, your love life begins is being affected by children. Okay, so I feel like someone here uh, maybe didn't love the idea of having kids. Or maybe someone came into this connection not expecting to fall in love. But they're starting to. Okay, they're starting to. Um... And that's what I'm saying. It was like an energy of, you know, someone really valued their independence. Someone really valued being single. They enjoyed being single. They were fine being single. And now all of a sudden this person is starting to, I think they're starting to fall in love, right? So here we have finances and career and we have stay optimistic about your love life. So for the other person, this person never stopped working on the connection, even though this person didn't really give much love back. They never stopped working on the connection and they were very optimistic that this would work out, all in good faith, because it seems like it is gonna work out. So let's see here. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. So someone here has spent their life going through relationships just very laid back with the Four of Swords. They've never really been in a relationship where they fell in love like this before. And, and with unrequited love and that Ace of Cups boom right underneath, they were not expecting to fall in love. Like that was not what the expectation here was, but they are. So Taurus, this could be you, this could be your person. Um, we've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy and the knight of swords aquarius gemini libra energy so i feel like this person um generally in connections they're very in and out you know they make promises they don't really like respond the next day and they do this on purpose to avoid commitment okay but now we have this person beginning to go from this knight of swords into this king of wands um with the five of swords i feel like this person is leaving certain behavioral patterns behind and they're looking behind them like wow why don't I feel that way anymore? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and it, like I said, it's like when, when you guys separate also, um, you know, like there, there's, you know, you're going your way, they're going their way and they're looking back like, wow, I wish we didn't have to go our separate ways. Like this person is actually starting to yearn, like falling asleep with you every night, waking up with you every morning. It's interesting. Um, okay. Now this person here, we've got the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and we have the world. Okay. So this person is putting a lot of work work in manifesting um, for this connection to be their last connection. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This person wants forever. Um, with the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, this person, even though um, the offer for commitment, stability, or a marriage proposal has been withheld from them with that Four of Pentacles, they've remained very optimistic, very optimistic. And with the Two of Swords, um, I feel like they were unsure as to whether it would come or not, but still they remained optimistic, okay? Now, ooh, family. And because of this, they are going to be wifey and mommy, hubby and daddy. We've got the honoring path, which what bigger honor do you have than to be someone's wife or husband and family? Yeah, I feel like this person is, you know, and let's see here, we've got fear and playing it safe. Yeah, this person has feared commitment their whole life and played it safe. This person has played it safe. They come, they go, and they do this to not get too attached, right? Because this person has a fear of commitment. But because this person, I feel, doesn't press this person for that commitment, it has made this person fall in love all on their own. Maybe, you know, in the past, sometimes we get pressured to make someone love us, and this person can't stand that. They run from it. Whereas this person has been patient, and they've manifested and prayed the correct way, and that has made this person and fall in love because they were given the opportunity to just fall in love all on their own you know without being told oh you know where are you going what are you doing like this is not a controlling energy over here this person just you know puts the work in and stays optimistic and that's it and that has caused this person to fall in love all on their own tell me about the ace of cups yeah this person with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, they have not realized, they, I, it's funny because it's like a sense of, wow, when did this happen? Like they had their heart under lock and key and now they're realizing that it's booming with love and they're like, what the hell? Tell me about this Four of Swords. Four of Cups in the reverse. This person has always been very laid back, okay? They fear rejection. They fear abandonment. So they do not put their heart on their sleeve. That's how this person has handled relationships. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. You see with the Seven of Wands, the way they block out their feelings is with that Knight of Swords. They come, they go. They don't, they don't stay as a steady thing so that they don't catch feelings. Tell me about the King of Wands. The two of swords but now they're starting to realize that you know somewhere along the lines and you see with that with that uh blindfold somewhere along the line they made a decision to go down this path to turn into a king and they're kind of looking back like what the hell just happened <laughs> you know what the hell just happened tell me about the five of swords yeah with the nine of of swords in reverse though they're not really worried about it you know what i'm saying they're not really worried about it yeah, because I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles under the deck. They, I feel like they're starting to yearn for that Ten of Pentacles. Give me one more on this Five of Swords. 
Yeah, you see, whereas before they were very guarded, now this love is like shining through. Like you see, that cup is love. The, even though they're appearing, they may not be pouring out their love like Romeo and Juliet, you know what I'm saying? But they they usually have this armor on, right? And now it's like, I'm getting like the Grinch, you know, when like out of nowhere his heart starts to beat, right? And they're looking back like, what was that? Did somebody hear something? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like someone's like, is that emotion? Am I feeling something? Did, I, did my heart just switch? Like that's what I'm getting here, which is, that's kind of cute. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the magician. Yep, someone here is manifesting their Ten of Pentacles. Yep, yep, yep. The, the Four of Wands. But you see, this person realizes that the best way to get this person over here to be stable and committed is to not force it, to withdraw and to just let it happen. Do you understand? So this per and that's with the Two of Cups, see, soulmate energy. So this person is aware that the best way to get this person to commit is by not forcing them to. And this person has ended up just falling in love without even knowing it. Tell me about the world card. Five of Swords. This person has managed to change this person here without even doing anything by just having faith. That goes to show you something. You see, they waited for the change. They prayed, they manifested, and that's how they fought this battle. That's how this fought, they fought this battle. And this person went, look at this, this person went from being happy, independent, single, to not looking for love, to now wishing and hoping it and walking around with stars in their eyes. Because they were patient. They didn't chase. They just let it happen. Tell me about the four of pentacles. See? Chariot, okay? Cancerian energy. So even though with the four of pentacles, this person here was holding back, this person always believed. They always stayed optimistic that they would have victory, Okay? Cancerian energy. They always knew that it would move forward. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. You see, they always knew that things would gradually progress. They always had an awareness. They always knew they 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 took their the their their wish fulfillment and they saw it as a truth this person will go from a page like a friend to a knight to someone i'm dating to eventually my ten of pentacles you understand they had that optimism they didn't stress about it tell me about the two of swords yeah the five of pentacles they did not know if they would lose or win but they believed in it but they believed in it tell me more about this two of swords <laughs> They did not know, look, with the Two of Swords, they didn't know. This could have ended and they could have been left out in the cold or they could have ended up engaged and in a beautiful relationship, but still they kept believing. But still they kept believing. The challenge here, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, wanting to be safe, wanting to be stable, wanting that level of commitment. That was the challenge. This person doesn't want this. This person did want this. So this person didn't force this and this person ended up giving this. Interesting, right? And what crosses this is the chariot, Cancerian energy, that somebody is going to win. Somebody is going to get what they wanted here. We have the seven of swords and the queen of swords. So someone here what I'm feeling is the queen of swords was this side. Remember? Okay. This person is used to keeping their guard up and sneaking out the next morning. That's what I'm actually getting. Like this person is used to not allowing people in, but this person snuck in. This person has armor to guard people from sneaking into their heart. And this person did it. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. This person did it. Tell me about the seven of swords. This person snuck their ass into this person's heart. They got what they wanted. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. This is such an adorable energy. The Queen of Wands. So let, let me just show you. It goes from a cold heart. The, the Queen of Swords has, not that she has a cold heart, she guards her heart. To now, it's bursting with passion and love and fire. Sword to steel. You know, we've got wood to, so to, to steel, okay? We've got cold steel against burning fire here, okay? This person managed to sneak their way in through that hard armor and get what they wanted. This is so adorable, Taurus. I love it. I don't know what side you're on, but I love it. Yeah, I love it. This is adorable.
Yeah, see, someone here with the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups, the Moon, and the Ace of Swords. Someone here is starting to wake up. Someone here is starting to wake up and, and feel their feelings. I don't know how to explain that with that Page of Cups. Someone here is starting to say, I don't know how and I don't know why, but I think I'm starting to maybe... <laughs> like they probably can't even say it. All right, guys. I love you. This is amazing. Please watch over yourselves and each other. Bye.